you are about to see the fastest way to build a voice chatbot powered by 11 Labs and Chatbot Builder AI. Hey Snoop, when is the next album dropping? OpenAI is taking our response and boom, we get the voice response. Yo, what's up my homie? The next album is gonna be straight fire, you know it. First, you're gonna head on over to chatbotbuilder.ai. Choose the channel that you want to start with. In this case, let's just choose web chat. We'll name this Snoopbot AI. The next thing that we're gonna do is head on over to 11 Labs. I'm already signed in and I can see that all my voices are made. I already have a Snoop Bot voice that I've created. Now we're just gonna make a simple welcome message. Welcome to Snoop Bot, how can I help you? Let's generate. Welcome to Snoop Bot, how can I help you my friend? And we see there's Snoop's voice, great. Now what we're gonna need to do is click on our profile icon. The next thing that we're gonna do is click our profile icon so that we can choose profile and grab our API key. You'll copy this API key on your clipboard. Then head back over into your ChatGPT Builder account and go to settings. Click integrations, scroll down to 11 labs. Click connect, paste in your key, and click continue. Now you've integrated into 11 labs. To make it even better, you can actually use, you could go ahead and integrate Google speech to text. All you have to do here is enter your API key and you are again done. Click continue. So again, let's go ahead and download this Snoop welcome message. We've got it downloaded. Now that the file's downloaded, we can head back over into our ChatGPT Builder account to our Flow Builder. And since we're gonna use audio, let's go ahead and delete this first element. Click add content, file, audio. In this case, we'll just go ahead and upload the file. Go to our downloads and boom, done. And that's all it takes to make a Snoop Dogg welcome message. And it couldn't be easier than that. Let's go ahead and test this out. We're only connected to web chat. So let's go ahead and click continue and we should get the audio file. Welcome to Snoop Bot, how can I help you my friend? So the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is head on over to integrations. We're gonna go ahead and connect ChatGPT using our OpenAI key from OpenAI. We'll go ahead and grab our API key from OpenAI. To do that, you'll head over to platform.openai.com. Click on your profile icon and choose view API keys. We'll create a new key. Create the key and copy it to your clipboard. Now you need to make sure that you've got a credit card on file. Here, payment methods. You need to make sure that you add a payment method or your API key will not work. Head back over into your account and paste in your API key from OpenAI. Click continue. We are going to do something important here because we are creating a new flow to handle our default replies. We're gonna turn this off, click save. Now what we're gonna do is create our default reply. So let's click add and we'll name this default Snoop flow. Remember, we've already sent them a welcome message. So now we're gonna be expecting a message back and we want to respond in the point of view and in the voice of Snoop Dogg. To do this, it's very easy. We'll click on the send message block. We'll click add content, choose actions, open AI. Click the open AI element. And all we need now is this our prompt. So let's say respond to all messages in the tone and point of view of Snoop Dogg. Your name is Snoop Bot and you are always having fun. Try to end every response you provide with another question to keep the conversation going. And so this is gonna be our prompt. Easy as that for now. The last step here is to add a new custom field so that we can save OpenAI's response to provide it back to our user. So let's just call this AI text output, continue. So now this is looking good. Let's hit continue. And the next step, we'll add content again. We'll choose actions and then we'll choose 11 labs right here. Click 11 labs. This is where we're gonna input the text and we're gonna choose the custom field that we just made. You can click the custom field symbol here and scroll all the way down to find your most recently made custom field. This is gonna contain the text that OpenAI just generated for us. Next, select the voice. In this case, it's called Snoop, so select Snoop. Next, we'll add our last custom field for the AI audio, so we'll name it that, AI audio. We'll click add content, file, audio. And before, we already saved our welcome message as a file, 
and we uploaded it so it'll be the same every time. In this case, we're going to click Insert Link, and we're going to use the custom field that we just used for Eleven Labs, AI Audio, and we're done. Easy as that. And the last step here, we're going to go to Settings, and you see we've got Default Reply right here. Select it to None. We'll change that to Default Snoop Flow. Click Save. So now we can go ahead and ask Snoop a question. Hey Snoop, when is the next album dropping? And what will it be about this time? And enter. So what's happening here guys is OpenAI has taken our response. It has generated text in which it's then sent that text to 11 labs. 11 labs takes the text and boom, we get the voice response. Let's play it back. Yo, what's up my homie? The next album is gonna be straight fire, you know it. But I gotta keep it on the down low for now. Can't give away all the secrets, you feel me? So what's been going on with you, my friend? And that is how you make a AI-powered voice bot. In just a few minutes, guys, I hope you like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And if you want to build your own chatbots for yourself, your business, or for other businesses as an agency, be sure to visit chatbotbuilder.ai. Peace.